Irish like Magic fans. Been sitting on this one for a few months now, but we're gonna finally watch it. It's called Human Experiments. Going back to the 70s here. Let's watch. Here's our star, Linda Haynes. She plays Rachel Foster. She's kind of doing a tour of some honky-tonk bars, a would-be country singer. Aldo Ray owns this bar. She refuses his advances. He tried to cheat out us on the money, Yoder. Lucas, you here with the young lady called your baby brother? That is Jackie Coogan, Uncle Fester from the Adams family. Sure, he's trying to cheat me. Now she's trying to write music and drive at the same time. Now, I don't think she hit her. She doesn't find her when she gets out to look, though. But that woman didn't look quite right when she narrowly missed her anyway. Now, her car got stuck when she ran off the road, so she went out to this house nearby to see if she could find a phone. She wandered in and discovered this. And there's more. She finds a gun to defend herself, and then she finds this little boy stroking a gun. Oh. I think that's our killer. When it looks like he's gonna shoot her, she shoots him instead. Of course, she is discovered at the scene. It was self-defense. Arrested. Is the jury really expected to believe that you just happened along while little Daryl was Tried and convicted and sentenced to prison. Family. So she finds herself in prison. That's Ellen Travolta, by the way, John's sister. She plays a woman named Mover. Hey. You can call me Mover. Mover? Yeah. Typical, there's some lesbianism Don't and some fighting. Jeffrey Lewis I'm is Dr. the, Klein, the facility doctor slash psychiatrist at the prison. I'm going to be giving you a battery of tests. Here's the doctor having supper with Rita, one of the patients slash inmates. We're led to believe that the doctor is doing some weird experiments with people. Whatever he's doing with Rita doesn't seem to be working well. Rita dies mysteriously. Seems to be a pretty liberal facility because uh, Rachel can wander the halls at night. And she discovers Pam, another inmate, apparently hung as well. The next day, she doesn't see Pam or anything. Let's get a move on. And she's told this. Pam's dead. Is that right? We got a report this year. The war. Because Pam was paroled yesterday afternoon. Is, is Rachel... Take one of these before bed. Is she going crazy? <laughs> Apparently Rachel does find the time to uh, take care of her needs. At one point, uh, Rachel tries to escape. Doesn't get very far though. It appears that Mover gives her something here. Is it a key? I think. I don't know. Anyway, Mover 
and uh, Rachel are both in the doctor's office here, and it's a good thing there's a rock in her office. <laughs> Then there's a band called the Archangels that are playing to the prisoners. While that band is playing a diversion, Rachel and Mover are trying to uh, escape. Looks like Mover got herself a uniform. They also found this woman who appears to be. Some sort of zombie. But I think that's Rita. Is Rachel losing her mind? This appears to be that family that she saw murdered. And then she finds a room full of bugs. Finds herself in a room of monks or something. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my. And they lead her to a noose. Next time we see oh. Rachel, she's in a solitary. With a sign that says, My name is Sarah. So, what is going on here? Everybody who was dead is now apparently alive, and it looks like they were all in on it to somehow turn Rachel into Sarah. Experiments. Remember the boy she shot? He lived. Boy came to me, did kill his entire family. You could falsify the release. And they're gonna release her. At this point, she seems completely brainwashed. She they have to release her. Anymore. But he doesn't she want doesn't that. Love you anymore. He wants to continue with the she experiments. Doesn't love you anymore. On the day of her release. You're innocent. Sarah, she doesn't love you anymore. Please, I don't know if she shot either of them, but she starts shooting up the place. Our last scene of the movie is uh, Rachel performing on stage again, but look, her name is now Sarah Jane Walker. Alright, let's talk about this movie, Human Experiments. It's a movie that I saw once before. Uh, my fellow Schlockmeister, Jeff, had this movie. He copied it from a video store. I watched it probably around 1995 or so. I borrowed it from him. I hadn't seen it since. Um, I didn't remember anything about it other than the fact that I remember I, I enjoyed it. That's all I could tell you. Um, about a year or so ago, I was looking on Amazon. I was looking to pick up this movie. It wasn't available on DVD or Blu-ray at that time. The VHS was still available, but it was $99.99. It's a movie I never had in my collection, so you know, I, I put that in the Amazon uh, watch list, and my wife said, don't buy that. 99 bucks, right? So anyway, thankfully, uh, the good folks at Scorpion uh, decided to put this out on Blu-ray earlier this year. It came out in September. I ordered, I pre-ordered it, actually, and I got it, I think, a week ahead of time uh, before it was actually supposed to be released. And then I sat on it. I wasn't watching it because, uh, again, my fellow Schlockmeister Jeff said, hey, we should watch that together. So fortunately, we didn't actually get together until last night. So it took a few months to get this watched, but I finally did. And you know what? I still enjoyed the movie. Uh, Linda Haynes, uh, who uh, I think did one other movie after this, then she just dropped out of Hollywood, became a uh, legal assistant or something. Um, she is this uh, wannabe country singer. She's kind of touring the South somewhere. And uh, she accidentally uh, stumbles upon a, a multiple murder and she gets uh, arrested for it. And they think she's guilty. She ends up in prison, which is a pretty laid back prison, if you ask me. Um, but while there, Jeffrey Lewis, who runs the place, uh, does experiments on the women there. It appears that he's trying to turn these women into somebody else, trying to change their personalities, change their names uh, through techniques of brainwashing, all kinds of stuff. He uses, it looks like he's using the fellow um, uh, inmates at the prison to uh, help him out with it. And um, ultimately, he turns Rachel into Sarah. 
And the last scene in the movie leads us to believe that he pulled it off. Now, right before that, uh, we sh uh, she started shooting up the place, uh, did uh, Rachel, Sarah. And uh, it looked like um, possibly that Jeffrey Lewis took a shot, but who knows? Maybe he was just startled by the gun going off in the in the room anyway. But anyway, it looks like the experiments worked. Uh, along the way, we have a few nude scenes from Linda Haynes, as well as the other ladies in this movie. And... Um, uh, there's a few gore scenes, like the, there's a serial murder, there's some blood, there's some yeah, some decent gore in this movie. Just a weird, creepy feeling overall with this movie. I'm not exactly sure where they were going, what they were trying to do, but it's it's kind of creepy. Look on IMDb, it doesn't have a great review, it's like a 3.7 or something like that, which, I don't know, I enjoyed this movie. I think it was pretty cool. So anyway, um, this Blu-ray looks fantastic. Way to go, Scorpion, you did a great job here. Um, comes with a slip cover, if you can uh, still find it that way. Um, and they really cleaned it up. It looks fantastic. So anyway... Um, that's pretty much it. It's Human Experiments, Linda Haynes, Jeffrey Lewis, and uh, Ellen Travolta, John Travolta's sister, uh, plays Mover in this movie. So anyway, let me know what you think about it. If you've seen this or if you pick it up, I would recommend getting it too because it's pretty cool. Uh, I'd probably get this for about 20 bucks or so, $20, $25 or so, but it's worth it. So anyway, check it out. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. It's called Human Experiments. Watch it. Bye.